today we'll present Oscar Ortiz <laughs> with the fruity drink, my boy. <laughs> what drink yeah. is that? Fruity. T Me and I, you're cool. We're just, we're just homies. You know, we're, we're not have nothing. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of like a little thing, you know, on social media that people just start. Would you date her? Shit. Hey. <laughs> when I started doing TikTok with Shadi, Shadi Bay and Wilito, I was like, uh, people are gonna start commenting, "Oh, you're using them." Mm -hmm. And I was like, I was like, as soon as I said that, bro, like. I started seeing comments like that, and I was like, yep, I'm not doing it no more. So I stopped posting TikTok with Rulito and Shadi Bay to look up to them. Because I learned from them, you know? They gave me consejos. What else would I want, you know? Yeah. El con consejo de, de Gerardo. Yeah, you know? yeah. So many people be like, damn, like, what is it? Feel? Like, bro, it feels crazy. Because pictures, I've never said no to a fan like that. You could, you could, bro, I don't think there's a video where I, people say, oh, Oscar fucked up. He didn't take a picture. No. Damn, I think I saw him. I always. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, who invited this? No, <laughs> no, can't go. My bad, my bad. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Agush to Papa podcast. Today we have a special guest. You guys have seen him for sure on your TikTok for you page nonstop. Today we we'll present Oscar Ortiz. <laughs> With the fruity drink, my boy. What drink is that? Fruity today. What kind of drink you got, my boy? Uh, pink drink with green tea matcha foam. Not that many people like green tea matcha, but I, I like, I like green tea it, matcha. I, like but I've never, I've I tried it. Uh, it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, yeah. It's cheers. The yeah, but we appreciate being here. Um, cheers to the we, fruity drinks. Yeah. Water. Pa la dieta. Pa la dieta. <laughs> <laughs> Not sponsored by you know Starbucks. When I said cheers, I went like that. Stupid. <laughs> 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 really yeah, bro, but it's cool to have you here. Um, I think we've we've uh, met each other a few times at concerts yeah. and talked about the podcast. Well, we met at that one... Um, ¿Cómo se llama el grupo? Conexión de las muchachas. Conexión Divina. Conexión, Conexión Divina. Oh, yeah, we're there too. I saw you guys there. Yeah. Dude, did we look nervous that day? Uh, oh, my God, dude. I was. Oh, you guys went up, right? Yeah, you guys went up. Yeah, we did like, like kind of like this. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Oh, you guys did good, though. You guys did good. It was good. Thank you, bro. Tuvo bien. I was nervous. Especially when I looked up, I saw those people. I was like, oh, hey. Yeah. Because we were, they didn't tell us it was going to be like a lot of like, like people from, from the industry. Like, yeah, and it's yeah, like all the industry people are like, who is that? Oh, that's like the owner of YouTube. Shit, I'll be, I'll be scared too. <laughs> owner of YouTube is here. <laughs> yeah. But not also, we them, they didn't tell us it was going to be that I'll many. Be scared too, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bro. yeah, but it's cool to have you here. Um, you can say bad words too? Yeah, yeah. yeah claro que sí. Let's all say one bad word right now. A la verga. Yeah, but we want to congratulate you on the music. Um. I personally, I'm a fan of the music. And then plus, like, the ones that you guys did right now before the podcast, like, thank I'm a fan. It's crazy. Like the same, we're a little practice, huh? We're yeah. trying to get the tone Hopefully, up. later on, we get a few songs. Yeah, but I want to take it back, Um, you know, for everybody that, well, most mostly everybody already knows you, but for the people that don't, you want to say your name and, like, kind of what you do? Hola, mi nombre es Oscar Ortiz. Uh, I do TikToks. I sing también. I do música. Y, pues, sí, un poquito de todo. I, I write everything. music. I play the guitar. I play the piano. Yeah. I want to take it like from the beginning. Uh, where were you born? Where were where did you grow up? I was born in TJ. 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 Tijuana. I thought you were born here. I know. Everybody tells yeah, me that key. too because I was learning English and you know, like, no, no. Because I was here since los nine years, you know, so I, I, I think everybody just thinks like, oh, let's go to Mexico. And I'm like, <laughs> like, yeah, oh, like yeah. I, you got to break them the news. Yeah. Like, I can't. Let me break it to you. I can't go. Yeah, but you got really good Spanish too. No, sí, pues, yeah. es que es, hablo el español todos los días en la casa, pero outside of my house, English, so. Yeah, that's like, good, though. I practice every day both languages, so. Some of us lost cool. the Spanish. And then you're the only, you're the only one that was born out there, or any other of you? Nah, family? my oldest brother was born in Culiacán, but he got married here, and he has his papers now, so. Papers. I'm the last one. You're going to get married here. Now you know the way. Hey, quien se quiera casar con Oscar? Quien se quiera casar conmigo, please, I need papers. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that green card? Nah, obviously, nah, I'm not thirsty for it, because I'm I'm good. I'm good here, you know? No cupo salir para ahorita. But I wish I could go, because I know I have so much fans over there. I wish I could go, like, to oh, my brother's concerts over there and, like, take pictures and, you know? Dang, Give back married, love, you know? It'll be sick. You want to get married? What do you, what do you need to wear? Ahorita or morenas? Uh, a little bit of everything. Hey. Of everything. Nah, nah, everybody I got a chance. Papers. I won't judge, <laughs> Loki. I won't judge. O sea, um, pero, pero, no sé, maybe una muchacha que habla español, because my, my parents don't oh, talk yeah. English, so. Para que se comunique mi mamá, you know? Personality ah, yeah, or looks? Para que se lleven bien. Both. Both, because in reality, you know, we, we can't lie. We can't lie. Girls can't lie either. Uh, cuando tú miras a una persona, you don't know them. You might like them because... Oh damn! I found her attractive. Yeah. So your first is like looks, then is 
And then you had to discover yeah. the rest. Yeah, right? exactly. And then we so see if they know Spanish. Yeah. And what was your childhood like in Tijuana? It was, I think it was, it was fun because we used to tassels. Play with tassels? Ooh. Tassels? Yeah. I think it's a putas. It did sound like putas. I, I like, play with tassels or, um, I don't know, we should just invent a lot of stuff. Body shots. Body. We used to, I used body, to do body shots, yeah, body shots. But I was little, but we used to do it because it was fun. So <laughs> Kevin would do it with the older brother, and I would do it with the little brother. It's crazy. You know, we'll have like little battles and shit. <laughs> yeah, just like childhood in Mexico is different, huh? Yeah, it's very it's different. Just... We used to like, we used to, I don't know what it was called. We used to have like a skateboard, but we used to put tablas on top of it, and a bunch of people would get on it, and then we'll go down a hill. What? Like, a bunch of people on just one skateboard but it, it had like a oh, big tabla so we could all fit on top of that <laughs> just yeah, balance yeah. and just Putazos. going down the hill it was fun with tassels and tassels <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> you were so born in a tj uh how long did you stay there for i was born there until well i was born there and i left when i was nine I yeah you get back when i was nine and i've been here since then Is when there you anything that you miss from tj uh i don't know Coca -Bolsa? i don't think i don't maybe los ostiones de playas that's it. Los ostiones, la, 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 las langostas, maybe. So the yeah, food. Yeah. Food, yeah, food. Food. And how, mariscos. how was the change from over there to over here? It was crazy because I feel like I got bullied a lot when I got here. Oh, I really? English, bro. So it kind of sucked. You know? I was first with my cousins because I came here and I was with my cousins, right? So yo me estaba quedando con mis primos y mi mamá y mi papá no se habían venido. So I was like, shit, you know, I kind of felt lonely. I didn't have no one to talk Spanish with that much, except my tia. Probably my tia was the only one that I used to talk to. Um, but in school, it was like hard because, fuck, you know? You, you don't bullied. speak English. And then I, I felt like kind of like, no sé, like by yourself, you know? You feel, yeah. you feel like, fuck, yeah, like an you know, outcast, no one to talk know? to and shit like that. Because yeah. I had to learn English too. Oh, shit, my bad. Uh, nah, because I, I feel like there's a lot of Hispanics here. So. Oh, yeah. So I, I found some people that talk Spanish. So, you know, I just started. But I'm like, I'm because they'll talk to me in English and I will start learning. When you're young, you learn fast, you know? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I was also born in Mexico, but when I came, I felt like I learned English pretty fast. I feel yeah, like it took me like me a too, year. Me too, low-key. I feel like I learned English when you, It took me like three years. How long did it take you guys? <laughs> like, I felt yeah. like one year. One year? No. I think I learned pretty quick. I got too. here in second grade. I was still learning like in fifth grade, bro. I was still learning. <laughs> Third, fourth, day. and fifth was like when I learned like good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Third, fourth, and fifth. Third, fourth, and fifth. Wait, wait. Oh, when you came over here from Mexico, what city did you get here? Monrovia. Monrovia? Yeah. Where's Monrovia? Where's Monrovia? Oh, what the far home? Monrovia. You, you guys said Monrovia, but you guys didn't even know where it was. Going, it's like going. close to Azusa. Yeah. Oh, oh. By, oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. but close to El, by El Monte, yeah. 626. Six. Damn, that's sick. And I, I feel like a lot of people, when they come over here, you know, they, they have to go through that obstacle of learning English. Yeah. And it's it's hard, you know? Yeah, like, but I think it, like, builds character. I think that it, it makes you, like, a more well-rounded person. And, you know, seeing how, like, it, life's in Mexico compared to over here. Even when we were little, you know, because I was a, I, I went to school in Mexico too, and I think it makes you appreciate everything more, um, everything that we have and all that stuff. Yeah. Now when I now I, I like I get calls from my cousin and stuff like that. They're like, oh mama, how the fuck do you talk English so good now? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, how to learn? I think it's a blessing being like bilingual. You know, it's sick. Low key, I feel like knowing two languages. It's sick, and I think it's important, low key, because it helps you in a lot of things. The boys go superpower. Yeah, and then for like the people that don't know, you are the younger brother of Gerardo, Kevin Ortiz, William. Gerardo's older than me. Huh? Oh, that I'm the younger, yeah, you're the <laughs> younger. youngest one. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're, that you're the youngest one. Yeah. And then, um, <laughs> you know, obviously, like back then, they did like some crazy ass stuff. They were like the peso plumas, like back then. Yeah, well, Hera was, was the one that Hera was the one that kind of. I felt like Hera was like kind of the one that kind of started a wave in some some way somehow. Uh, como los corridos progresivos, you know? yeah. So he started a, a little trend for other artists to hop on, and just other artists just started mixing it up on the music. So Natanael came in and just did something Switched different. Switched up a little bit and corridos yeah. tumbados and shit like yeah. Damn, and then like obviously like your brothers were like, well, Gerardo he was like super super famous. Like how was that for you? Like knowing that your brothers like it was kind of it was kind of. Well, you know, sometimes you you sometimes feel used, right? For for like oh they use you because. You're famous and stuff like that. So back then, well, I was little, but I didn't know, you know. Mm -hmm. In school, like I would instantly like f like feel like I was shit. Like, bro, like why are you just bothering me because of my brothers, you know? Also, so school, a lot of people yeah. In school, I used to maybe go through that and to make friends. That's why I've always been like, like in high school, my like my whole entire high school, like I was just very like reservado. I didn't talk to much people. 
I used to be popular. Like, I used to be popular, but no, no me gustaba juntarme con a lot of people, you know? Just, it was just me to myself and just a few homies. That's it. Yeah, that's crazy. People, were they asking for, like, shout-outs or something? I uh, lucky, yeah, but it was very, <laughs> it was very like rare. Not from me, because back then, well, I didn't do TikToks, I didn't do nothing, I didn't do nothing for my name, you know. Yeah. It was more for like, oh, your brothers, your brothers, your brothers, your brothers, you know. Now it's different. <laughs> <laughs> how did <laughs> how did you deal with that? You know, would you have to tell people like no or like? Nah, obviously, well, you said keep your distance. Be like, oh, dile a tu hermano que me grabe un video saying happy birthday and this and that. Well, Bro, I was in school, bro. We want me to call him right now and tell him. <laughs> like, nah, well, obviously I would tell him, like, oh, I'll, I'll, when I get home, maybe if I see him, because I, I wouldn't see him for, like, a cool, because he's he works a lot, you know? He's out. He's out of town. Traveling. So I would just be like, oh, if I see him, then I'll tell him, you know? If I probably forget, but la intención ahí estaba. That's it. Yeah. intenciones eran buenas. And then, like, for you, like, with the music, um, you know, you, have, you come from a family of musicians. Uh, where did you start? Like singing, uh, I feel like I've always I've always been singing since I was little. Since I was in TJ, I used to just listen to Hera's music, yeah, and just well, sing. I used to like I used to learn like all the songs and just sing my chain. My dad has always played the guitar. Well, Hera was was got into the music because of my dad, and my dad has always been involved as you know. And um, since I was little, well, my dad used to play the guitar and I used to sing with Kevin too. Um, I think it was just more like. We grew up on it, so it, it, it developed, you know, it developed. Yeah. So, so when you were little, I've been doing music. When you were little and like you saw your brothers, did you look up to them? Did you say, oh, I want to be like them one day? Oh, I still look up to them. Yeah, I still look up to them because I learned from them, you know. They gave me consejos. What else would I want, you know? Yeah. Consejo de, de Gerardo. Yeah, you know? yeah. So many people be like, damn, like, what is it? Feel? Like, bro, it feels crazy because... Well, he knows he's gone through so many obstacles and he could help me avoid them, yeah, you know? So yeah. what are some consejos that they told you? Um, okay. Especially now that you know how you're starting. Not, yeah. It's it's more like, one, of, one consejo is como que reservarte, uh -huh. that he gives me, that I, I, I should be more reserved. Because I like, I, I like giving back, like, in a way of, like, if people show so much love, I, I like, like, taking pictures. I've never said no to a fan like that. You could, you could, bro, I don't think there's a video where I... People say, oh, Oscar fucked up. He didn't take a picture. No. Yeah, I think I saw him. I always. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the clip. I, 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 yeah, yeah. I saw that one, though. That one. It's like right here. <laughs> He's, <laughs> in that shit. He's like, explain this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Oh, me gusta tomar las fotos, but then, like, sometimes you, you can't be going out to places where you know there's going to be a lot of people and you might get crowded and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Like, um... Maybe the the uh, con uh, one of the concerts from Peso Pluma, well, I was in um, <clears throat> backstage, right? But I wanted to go see the show from the front, but then they were like, "You can't. There's a lot of people, you know." You, you, you. And I was like, "Shit, well, it doesn't matter, you know." Like I'll take the yeah. picture and then and then I'll watch the show, but they they want they try to como que reservarme to it's better for your image, you know. And I think every artist receives that receives that consejo, mm -hmm. ese, ese consejo como ser más reservado. Was it the Toyota Arena one? Um. Yes, and and I think the one in Fresno. There, it was one in Fresno that I went to. Yeah, because we went to the Toyota Arena one, and then we saw like a bunch of people going to the front, and yeah. then it was the uh, U and Wilito. Yeah, we were right there. That was there. crazy, yeah. bro. You guys had oh, like yeah. a bunch of people Fresno. running forward. Yeah, and then the one in Fresno was pretty cool too. That was crazy. The one. In oh Fresno yeah, I remember. Oh yeah, we we went to that. Yeah, one. we were there that, that was day. Packed, yeah. bro. That one was crazy. Yes, and for you personally, with the consejos that your brothers give you, how do you deal with you know like the fame or people wanting to be around you? Um. How do I deal with it? I don't like. I don't. I feel like it's not. It's not like I have to deal with it. It's kind of just like it becomes natural. Mm -hmm. So you just, you just have to. I don't know. You just get used to it. You don't. You kind of don't do nothing. You just know who to hang around with. You know who you have a like como, a like a genuine con connection. See, si, con quien te sientes bien. You know, you feel like you're not being used or something like that. You just know who to hang out with. I don't have that many friends. I only have like just like one group of friends, and they're like legit brothers. So. It's kind of like, tienes que nada más reservarte con tus amistades, know who you hang out with and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. And then you're saying that you you sing when you were in Mexico and everything. Um, why did you wait until like this moment to start releasing music? Because, I don't know. Like officially, huh? Right? Yeah. My mom wanted me to finish high school like so bad. And I was like, all right, I'm going to finish high school. I've always been so ass at school, bro, honestly. <laughs> bro, super bad grades all the time. But I graduated. I graduated on time and everything, and I had extra credit. And I was like, "Shit, I'm not that dumb after all." You know? 
Um, pero fue, creo que en el momento donde where I started popping off in TikTok and I was like, yo, I think I have the potential to do more than that, you know? So I, I, well, I told my brother and I think I recorded an album, not an album, my bad. I recorded an EP, which was mm -hmm. five songs, but I wasn't too sure of what I was doing because the instruments that I used in that album were not too like, and lo que está ahorita, you know, what's mm -hmm. popping right now. And I feel like it just kind of bothered me a little bit and I kind of didn't like the songs that I did. Even though they're cool, like my brother would tell me, bro, you're tripping, they're cool, they're cool songs, you know? Um, but I just feel like I, I could have done better and not, yeah. but on this album, I'm, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go crazy. Like I'm definitely gonna go crazy, yeah, I'm gonna go crazy. Well, yeah, I mean, the songs you were showing us right now, they're pretty sick. No, oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Like I, the, even the, the name of it. Um, L -H -T -L. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that was crazy, that was crazy. I'm super excited, <laughs> but I think it's also crazy too, cause I mean, I think in the beginning, people knew you as like the brother of like Gerardo and Kevin, but like, uh, I think it was when you started doing TikToks, like you made a name for yourself. Yeah. Yeah, you really it did. was crazy, bro, because I remember like going on TikTok and like you were on my For You page for like months, bro. Like it was, it was crazy. Yeah. Like every other video, huh? Yeah, every yeah. other video. Loki, right now, I haven't posted in like, I haven't posted in like two weeks. And then I think uh, a day ago, I posted like three videos. And I was like, oh shit, it feels weird posting, you know? Like, it feels <laughs> weird posting again. <laughs> But it's because I kind of, man, man, I felt like overwhelmed a little bit. I was yeah. like, I, mean, I, don't, I, don't feel, I didn't feel like doing nothing. I felt like kind of like, como te entro una depre, you know, like a little, yeah. you know, I don't want to do it, you know, I don't feel good. But shit. Yeah, kind of like well, the Marquito Suiza. You got to come back to reality. <laughs> uh, have you had to choose uh, doing TikTok or doing music? music. Which one? Yeah. yeah. Music? Music. 100%. Do you know, do you remember why you initially started making TikToks? Uh, I was just, I think it was, it was a moment in my life where I was just, I was sad. I was like, bro, I'm just going to do TikTok just for fun. So I started doing TikTok just for fun. And I just started, pegó el chicle on the videos. Like, videos were going viral. And I was like, oh, shit. When you right away the first one? No, not, a, not a right away. It was like, I started doing videos. But, like, every video, like, will get, will get me a lot of more followers. And, like, every video will start doing better. A little bit, a little bit, oh, little. Like, cool, you know, it's starting to grow, you know, little by little starting to grow. So I just kept on doing it. And it just got to one point where, like, like, oh, shit, what the fuck? Like, all my videos are getting millions of views, bro. Like, what am I doing, bro? That's just crazy. When you started posting uh, TikToks, what was your goal with it? Did you ever think you were going to get, like, famous off of that? Uh, I didn't I didn't really think. I didn't, I didn't even think I was going to hit it, like, a million or, like, I, I remember I told myself, I was like, like, damn. I was like, shit, maybe I'll, I'll hit 100K in this month. And I was already, like, at like 40K. And uh, it was so crazy because in that month, I think I hit, like, like 600,000 in less than a month. That's crazy. And then I was like, bro, if I did that in a fucking month, bro, what, what could I do like in like like two or three more months, you know? And I think the next month I, I reached one million and then it just never stopped going up from there, you know? And shit, it was crazy. I, I didn't even believe it, you know? I was like, fuck. And yeah, when I, you I shouldn't like think that way anymore. Like, oh, it's kind of impossible. <laughs> Everything's possible, bro. You just gotta, yeah, if you want to do it, you can do it, you know? And when you started, did like somebody tell you, hey, this is how you post a TikTok? Or like you just already knew or you looked it no, up? No, I did everything by myself. I learned, I legit, TikTok was so hard for me because I was like, shit, bro, how do you do this? <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> it's it still hard. so difficult. Yeah. But then I started just learning, like, and then I started seeing how to, how to do templates on YouTube. Or oh, how do you add this sound to this video? Or how do you do like, the fast on the video so like the the mouth can move faster and shit like that <laughs> and then i started learning like that and then i so, shit like in the rest 15 is history. days i was already a professional <laughs> <laughs> and why do you think uh your tiktok started blowing up loki i feel like a lot of people commented this a lot that like, tenía mucha charisma uh -huh. the charisma. charisma yeah and then well i don't know where they just started saying like oh shit there's no way hera had another brother because they just thought hera was kevin was the the mm -hmm. only brother he had but then they started putting oh fuck it's like, Hera tiene otro hermano más chiquito. They were like, oh, shit, he's, he's good looking, you know? That chilo, <laughs> he, he's, he's funny, he has charisma and shit like that. And, well, I don't know, I just started going up from there. I really didn't expect it. And then it, also, like, since, you know, you were doing so good on TikTok, do you think that also gave you the confidence to say, I'm going to start music? Or, like, you know, officially, like, start releasing singles and albums? It, it didn't give me the confidence because I feel like it's very different platforms and it's very different audiences. Because um, I feel like TikTok just gives you a lot of attention. But just how it could give you attention in a good way, it could also give you attention in a bad way, you know? Like, um, no sé, te pueden meter en, en una polémica. Like, oh, yeah. there's, like, there's this beef. Or like, oh, you know, it's, 
a good talk, you know, he's doing good things and like, you know, mm -hmm. so bueno también, you know? Yeah, and I think that with TikTok is like a very fine line, huh? And then sometimes someone might just want to like do Pero a mí no me gusta hacer TikToks. I don't like doing TikToks with no one. If I was and, and then the, when I started doing TikToks with some people, I started feeling like like weird. I was when I started doing TikToks with Shadi, I, I started thinking I was like I, when I started doing TikToks with Shadi, Shadi Bay and Wilito, I was like uh, people are going to start commenting, "Oh, you're using them." Mm -hmm. And I was like I was like as soon as I said that, bro, like I started seeing comments like that, and I was like, "Yep, I'm not doing it no more." So I stopped posting TikToks with Wilito and Shadi Bay, and then well, I was like, "I don't need to post TikToks with them," you know? Like they're doing their own thing. I really didn't want to get in the way and stuff like that. And I don't want I don't want people to tell me, "Oh, you're using them," you know? Que que sea más por oh, just for who he is, you know? Yeah. He's doing it for just for him by himself, you know? And yeah. how how do you feel that you built like your career off of something that you put in the work for? Uh, I feel like it feels satisfying because uh, you put a lot of time to things that you, sometimes you don't expect that they're gonna do good, right? Like, but then they start doing good and it just it gives you that satisfaction, like oh shit, you know, like I did something good. It's crazy. Or no, más, or más cuando like influencias a otra gente, you know, mm -hmm. like they start doing things because you did it and it's like oh shit, yeah. it's kind of cool, you know. I feel like that's a, that's the goal for like everybody to you know put out a good message and inspire people. I'm pretty sure when you take out your music you're gonna inspire like a whole bunch of young people and that's gonna feel good for yourself yeah to be honest like that's that's probably like i don't look at it this way like i just i don't i don't care about like when i fucking when they say like uh oh like what's your end goal or what's your like goal for for music and i'm like shit my end goal is like being in the stage and then just having a bunch of people like let's say being in microsoft right because we were talking about or no we were, uh, what is it called ontario ontario oh no 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 the other one I think Microsoft, right? Microsoft, yeah, yeah. there you go. Microsoft. So we were talking about Microsoft, just being in, in Microsoft, singing in front of like, like, bro, like at least 5K people, right? It might sound like, oh, 5K compared to a SoFi Stadium, 87,000, but 5,000 people is crazy. Like, just yeah, imagine imagine them singing a song that you wrote. It's, that's like my goal. That's my goal for music. Yeah. Right there, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, when I, well, we get to go to a few concerts and, you know, the artist gets up there, you know, they do a song that the whole crowd knows. Like, it gives me chills, you know, just yeah, seeing. Bro, every time I go to a concert, it, it always happens. I'm like, holy shit, bro. This 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 motherfucker filled this shit up. You it's know? like, he is him. Yeah, yeah like, huh? bro, he's really him right now, you know? Like, Junior Ratchet, when I went to go see Junior Ratchet, I was like, that's oh, insane. Look up, bro. And I was like, bro, that's, that's, it's big as fuck in here. And he filled this yeah. shit up. It's crazy, bro. Yeah. And then the crazy thing. And it thing, gave me, like, the goosebumps, you know? like Like, he like, does that, like, every other day for, like, the past, yeah. like, two oh, years. Didn't he just do it, like, uh, not so long ago in Mexico? Oh. Uh, oh, in San Luis Potosí. Oh, the record he broke? Yeah, I think he broke yeah, the he record. Broke the rec 250,000 people. 250, bro, yeah. what the fuck, bro? Like chess, not checkers, huh? Oh, Crazy. Man, Mexico shit. City, he saw that, what, the Plaza de Toros? Oh, well, yeah, that one was the biggest one so far. He did uh, two days, and it was 50,000 each. And I think only... Um, it's crazy. Juan Gabriel had done that. And then, but now it's like 250,000 in one day. Bro, it's, it's fair. crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. It's so much people. Yeah, so but I think... People like look up to that and they're like, you know, le echan ganas a su música because, you know, they want to like do that. Hell one. yeah. No, Junior actually inspires so much people. Loki, yeah. Neta, Machine. Who's like your every favorite? artist, just like every artist. Yeah. Neta inspires so much people. Peso Pluma inspires hella yeah. people. JOP, Fuerza Regida, they inspire hella people. Um, todos tienen su, su flow, la neta. They all have their different taste. I like listening to all their music, you know. No, no, realmente no tengo como que, ah, he's better than him. Nah, hell no, because they they got their mm -hmm. own shit going on, you their know? Their own style. Yeah, everyone's yeah their own style, yeah. you know? Even Everybody brings Dress and everything. They, are, they got their own little swag, their way of giving their show, the way of treating their people. Yeah, everybody brings something to the table, right? And then that's why uh, I think the genre is doing so good right now. Yeah, low-key. Yeah, I think I think I, I kind of don't like it how they start beef with, like, other artists and stuff like that. Because I'm like, it's always the people, we're, huh? We're, we're, yeah, we're, we're Mexican. Mm -hmm. We're all Mexican, you know? Let's let's just all make the put the Mexican flag on top, just like I feel like right now, look at me, Junior H, Peso Pluma, Fuerza Regida, um, Grupo Frontera, Natanel Cano. They're putting, bro, they're putting the Mexican flag in some crazy ass, like worldwide level. Yeah, worldwide shit, like Peso Pluma doing with Biza Rap. And then I think Natanel's gonna take out a song with Biza Rap too. Yeah. And it's hard, bro. That's I'm crazy. waiting for that shit. Like, I, th I think it's cool to look at it because there was one point where. The, the music that we listen to right now was regional mexicano yeah. but now like they switch it to musica mexicana because it's being yeah, listened it to everywhere it changes yeah. like that game it's has changed bro there's like 
You could hear you you could hear Sabor Fresa in Spain right now, bro. Dead ass. There's people listening to yeah. that shit right now. Yeah, yeah I think gonna be there. It's crazy. That's yeah, playing in Spain? Madrid, no. Well, that's a uh, best. He's gonna sell that shit out too. Yeah. yeah, I think. Hell yeah. Something really cool is He's like. He's about to see Esther. <laughs> <laughs> from uh, Elite, right? Bro, she's so pretty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I think all of us that we've been in, like listening to Corrosive Balls for such a long time, and there was like, oh, it's a subgenre. Like they're really like, oh, like esos, cor- esos no son corridos, yada yada. And now, you know, you go into a store or a restaurant, you know, and they have a Fuerza Regida song, a Junior Age song. What was it the other day? Oh, yeah, the other uh, day. The, I went what to... What are they called? The things that you, you buy a song? Oh, yeah, the... Oh, the, like, play boxes? Como? The Rocola. Rocola. <laughs> it's got all the albums of Tumbado. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Man, old, take the old school ones out and just put all the new ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, the other day I went to a barbecue restaurant, and I went uh, to the restroom, and, like, you could actually hear the music, and it was Lagunas. And I was like, Great. I was like, is this right? Like, I, I was like, taking a piss. <laughs> yeah, like, I was exactly <laughs> like that. I was like, we would have, ne- I would have never guessed because it wasn't a Mexican restaurant. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. It's awesome to see how high the Mexican flag has gone. And I think okay. as long as the Mexican flag is up there, like we're all winning. How, yeah, exactly. That's the way I see it. So when I see like artists kind of like beefing it and stuff like that, I'm like, bro, just why, why, you know, why can't we just all just go up, you know, just peer, todos los mexicanos, you know, just help each other out. Yeah. Who's some of your favorite artists right now? Oh, actually, who's like the top one for you? Like, what's like my top favorite artist right now? Low key, I, it's cause I I like to look at it like I don't just look at like oh I like that song. I look like into production and everything. Yeah. Like I look at la producción de música, like sound, everything quality wise, and I feel like Peso Pluma is doing some crazy shit right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, we were actually talking about um his concert. And we're saying how the lights and the production's crazy. Yeah, yes, yes. The musicians. Yeah, bro, the lights be going crazy. The music. Yeah, man, and now I know, yeah. What was your favorite part of the concert? The, the lights. lights. Oh, light. hey, oh, they were in my I, eyes. I give him his props. I, I just like, really, the lights. But I guess I can't really see all that. But you guys you guys do. Yeah, we were That's talking awesome. about how the like the musicians being on time is like really important. And yeah, it was it's dope. Oh. Back from the oh. break. Uh, What's up, guys? You dropped the EP back. early August, 23 Do you want to tell us a little bit about that EP? Ese EP fue unas canciones que yo hice kind of when I was barely starting to write music. Mm-hmm. So I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to do those songs, you know? Um, and I also did one on the, in, on the EP. There's a song with Polo Gonzalez. So I think that one was Polo Gonzalez, but then I added some, some of my lyrics on it too. But... Yeah, honestly, I just, I, I kind of just wanted to, uh, I wanted to do like a little EP to see how I would do with like, like production wise type, mm-hmm. you know, to, to make a song, you know, con los instrumentos, inst- instrumental wise, you know, I just wanted to know how to do it. It was like, it was like my first time actually recording something in the studio, like good, good, you know, mm-hmm. but no me satisfacción mucho because I was like, I wasn't in the studio too much to, for them to record the instruments. So it was like more like. Their style, not my style. So that's why I didn't uh, like it too much, you know? Mm. And I want to ask you, 237, where does that come from? I see everybody, like, calls you that. Like, what is that? 237. Oh, because I also did my, my hat drop, too. Uh-huh. So 237, right? So 237 was made because I fucked up on a TikTok. <laughs> 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 I fucked up on a TikTok. Uh, I think it was when IMG was popping off. <laughs> uh, and I was like, shit, you know, IMG... You know, everybody was lit with that song. Yeah, 24-7. So I was like, shit, I was like, damn, I, I, I'm listening to this shit 24-7. So I did a TikTok, kind of like vibing to it. But instead of putting 24-7, I put 23-7. And it was when I was like popping off in TikTok right there. So people were like, what the fuck did he just <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was the caption? 23-7. Like, oh. like yo, wait, yo, like me, 23-7. Like, like instead of with putting, that song. Yeah. What do you do the 24th hour? Like people were putting that only sleep one hour. That's <laughs> uh, so it was like twenty yeah, seven, but only one hour of sleep. Crazy, huh? The power of I know the that power you have on TikTok. Up. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck up one time, bro, and it's it's crazy. It's funny at the same time. Oh, and they also started doing like because <laughs> they got to one point where they were calling me so many nicknames from from my teeth. El Cindy. My bad, let me tell you. Man, you joke. My bad. Ricardo Romero was like, oh shit, man. My bad. Oh, my bad, man. So Cindy, and then they started calling me El, El, oh, also El, El Sin Riñon, because I only have one kidney, too. And oh, it was, it was funny. It's crazy. Shit. I was like, shit. Oh, and El Adoptado, too, because 
They were saying that I was adopted. Oh, that one TikTok, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember I saw that one. <laughs> that my brother were saying that I was adopted. Just, but they were fucking around with me. Shit, I mean, I guess. <laughs> so, was I it really think adopted? They, they better have. Damn, so this uh, EP is, um, you feel like it was kind of just like a test? Or yeah, like you I feel like I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't give it my all. I kind of just did them in a way where I wasn't sure of what I wanted, you know? You just uh, first so, time, you know? Yeah, for the for the next project, how are you gonna, you know, change it up? Like change it up, or how do you look forward to this the next, next project? Next I'm, project, like I, I feel like I'm just gonna be make um very um shit. I'm just quit you. I'm gonna be very like I'm gonna be picky because you have to be picky. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to you have to do things right. I wanna. I want to be there. I kind of. I'm basically gonna hi- hibernate in the studio. Cause I'm gonna, I want to be there where all, when all the instruments are going in. So it's eh, viene siendo el, el productor, right? The producer, right? So I'm basically. I'm basically. I, I'm song. I'm the songwriter for a lot of songs of the album. Some of the songs I wrote like half with some homies, and then some of the songs are my homies. Um, and it's gonna be like just, just from singing to building the song completely. To mastering it, but obviously I'm not gonna be the one that's gonna master it. Yeah, you're engineer. I'm gonna tell them the you're gonna be there for every sound everything. I want, you yeah. know. For every song, every song is gonna be different. Every song has like a little feeling, you know. So and this upcoming album, like you're gonna be, you're like 100 confident it's gonna come out your way. You have to be confident yeah. on everything. You have to be confident if you want things to work. You have to be confident. Um, I, I, I'm just, I have a good feeling because I want to do things right with this album. I wanna, I wanna get some, some people onto it, you know. I'm thinking of as La One Armado, Junior H, you know, just yeah. Those are yeah I want, I want, like, I'm cool with Danny Lux too, Ivan Cornejo. Maybe show him some songs. Maybe, maybe not all of them are gonna be down, but I, I'm pretty sure I could get some to be in it, you know. Um, and especially how the songs are, así el estilito de ahorita. Pretty sure they'll like it, you know. They'll, they'll get in the vibe. They're like, yeah, I'm down. Yeah, I'll be cool. like they'll be able to adapt to it. Yeah, and obviously I'm not gonna give them. A, I'm not gonna show them a song that I know they won't like. I'm gonna give them a song that. It's their style, so they could be like, mm. like if it's feel them. it more, you know. You show Ivan Cornejo cumbia, like. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck are you showing, like, bro? And it went and for the next album, are you, is there certain instruments you want to use, like the bajo loche, the tolo loche, trombone? trombone. A, I don't think I'm gonna use bajo loche at all, but I feel like bajo loche se quedó ya atrás. Mm-hmm. It was like a, a little era low key. Yeah. Um, obviamente guitarras, uh, tolo loche. And some songs maybe add trombone because trombone nowadays is just escuchando mucho, right? But I don't want to do it too much where it's going to be like, oh, this motherfucker's goofy, you know? He's doing too much weight. Oh, his song's trombone, you know? Some songs I'm going to do guitarras with uh, ba- bajo, just bass. Just electric bass? Yeah, so it's going to sound very like nata type, así bien bonito, simple, you know? Yeah. But it sounds tumbadón. Um, some songs maybe electric guitar, acoustic guitar. Give it, Give it a little bit of Mas tranquilon vibes, you know? That has been a, a crazy learning experience, huh? Getting into the whole music scene. Yeah, low-key. I feel like I never stopped learning. Low-key. Yeah. yeah. What's been, a, like, the one of the struggles that you've had so far with, uh, uh, you know, with you making music on your own? Low-key. It's because I feel like to write música tumbada, <clears throat> I, I prefer to write it in, in the guitar. Just I don't know how to play the guitar that much. I feel like that's the struggle for me. Because I need mm-hmm. someone to play the guitar in order for things to feel a little bit better, you know, sacar tonos más chilos. Like right now, you were taking out tonos that were pretty sick, you know? Yeah, just like coming out with the right port, um, chord progressions. Yeah. And then, you know, you fill in what you need to fill in with the lyrics. Yep. It's very different. Todo cambia. And then for the canciones de desamor, have you ever wrote a song because, you know, you got your heart broken? Oh, yeah. A lot of times? Oh, yeah. I feel like all songwriters have done that. Yeah. Oh, de amor, oh, de amor. How many times have you got your heart broken this year? Nah, just <laughs> <laughs> Shit. None. <laughs> None? Ah. None? Probably just once. Like, Commander, is that true? Nah, 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 nah. Me, me, me and Ana, you're cool. We're just, we're just homies. We're not, we're, we don't have nothing. It's kind of, it's kind of like a little thing, you know, on social media that people just start. And then, well, obviously, it's kind of cool, you know, you, you kind of become attached to that person. Like, Bro, it's fun, you know? Like, Damn. You know, hey, but be honest, like, privately, would you flirt with her? I mean, I, she's pretty, yeah. Well, why not? I would, you know? There's nothing bad about it. As long as she's single, I'm single. There's nothing There's nothing wrong, you know? I feel like we have that connection, you know? We're, we're yeah. cool with each other. We 
we find we find each other attractive, so you know, why not? Would you date her? Shit, hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's far distance, so I don't think I would. No. What well, about she moves out here? Shit, man, that's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> different. Hey, let me change the chapter real quick. Yeah, it's <laughs> kind of, it's kind of cool how like the people. Like they 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 kind of build you build a little community and then you you can have fun with it as well you know yeah yeah once they start shipping someone it's like it's a wrap yeah. <laughs> it's a wrap you're shipped right? you're shipped and then, like they go live and then they start shooting you know like oh where's Oscar where's Oscar and then oh shoot you go live and then they be like that no oh my god yeah they just they keep on going crazy. yeah I think that's gonna go on like forever yeah, yeah. I think so and then it gets, <laughs> yeah. but then it's it's kind of hard to to kind of have conversations with other girls because then it's like, bro, you're right there. Fucking, you know, like you're right there I messing around in social media. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's everywhere. So you can't do nothing. But nah, it's not like that. It's kind of more like, bro, we're just friends. You know? Just for fun. Yeah. It's for the, the audience that we have. Huh? They have these yeah, the audience created. You just got to follow along. It's a social cool. media yeah, life. Cool. Social media game. Damn. And then like, you know, right now you're super popping. Do you go out and you get like bombarded with like fans? Nah, well, sometimes you run into people that that, that, that know you and just want to take a picture. Or they, they just tell you, oh, me grabo un saludo pa' mi hija, or stuff like that. And yeah, I do all of them. There's nothing wrong with it. You know, it feels cool because you feel loved, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, shit, I'm doing something right, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you had, like, any haters, like, in person that go up to you? And or person? cloud chasers? Actually, yeah. never. Yeah. That's crazy, huh? Like, so many, sometimes we get a lot of bad comments, but when you really stop and think, like, nobody has ever gone up to yeah. us or you guys and said like it's you know very fucking hate you or whatever different. i yeah. feel like that social media is different than person so social media you're on a phone you're in your house you could talk shit to someone in prison you won't do it yeah. but what are some of the things that people hate on you like online like in the comments? uh i don't know i feel like i i, I haven't gotten hate comments no really? no not. maybe i don't know like Maybe like the ones that they were saying like, oh, you 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 were use, you're using a mm. shoddy and Wilito. But I was like, that's pretty much it. Nothing crazy. As soon as I see them, I just back off instantly. Like, I don't I don't like that, you know. Oh, uh, I, I, I we'd rather get away from the drama. Yeah, I think that's the yeah, best thing to do. Huh? Going on right now. I know. Oh yeah, it's a lot. It's there great. was there was people saying that you look like um, David Dobrik, and he reached out. What was that like? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, honestly, when I was still in I was in college, like a music school. Uh, I was in class and I was just like, shit. Like, I was I was starting to pop, like, I was popping off right there in my chain. So people w would always tag David Dobrik. And then I think David Dobrik just ended up seeing one of my videos. I think it was me me dancing and um, he duetted it. And then, well, a lot of people were tagging me and a lot of people started sending me messages like, yo, David Dobrik duetted you. And I was like, ain't no motherfucking way. I used to watch this for every fucking day back in like 2018, you know, 2019. So I was in class and I I opened that shit and I was like, what the fuck? And then I went in his account and I was like, yo, it's actually him. You know, it's him. It's David Dobrik. I was like, fuck. I was like, damn, we actually do look alike. Fuck. <laughs> you never tried to reach out like to link up or anything? Uh, yeah. Well, well, right there when I saw that video, I, I hit him up. I was like, oh, he followed me right there. And then I followed him back because I didn't follow him on TikTok. Um, and then I was like, shit, you know, if he followed me, he probably, you know, he's he, he's mm -hmm. cool. So I think I hit him up. I was like, oh, shit, like, we should link up and stuff like that. And then he answered me, and he was like, oh, I think I, t I thought I was like, oh, thank you for the follow, bro, like, this and that. Like, like I'm a big fan and shit like that. And he was like, oh, what's up, and this and that. Like, we just talked for a little bit, and then we just stopped talking for a long time. And then I don't know where, I think not, like, probably, like, two months ago, I hit him up. I was like, yo, we should link up. We should do some TikToks, like, like something cool, you know, some, something that, that people would trip about, you know? And he was like, yeah, for sure, what day? And I was like... I, I don't think I don't think I told him or I think I told him, but we we just stopped talking out of nowhere. But I feel like if I hit him up, he, we'll we'll probably link up. But we just it hasn't happened. That's crazy. And I really don't know what hasn't happened. I mean, yeah. You want me to break the internet? <laughs> would have been the next Jonah Hill. It would have been it would have been cool. It would have been really cool. I to think it'd be it. cool if you like once you have like that album ready, like do something with them to like help you promote it. Yeah, it'll be actually really cool. I, I'm actually gonna hit him up. It'll be really cool. It's like two different universes colliding. And <laughs> yeah, exploding. God, be awesome. David Dobrik has a huge audience, bro. It's huge, huge, huge everywhere. I feel bro. like we all grew up on those those vlogs. You know, we really did. Those four, four minute, four minute, four minute, twenty six. <laughs> yeah, twenty twenty one. But that. The intro, the, as soon as I heard that intro, I was like, oh, I know what we do. Hell dun, yeah, dun. bro. They were so good. Honestly, those videos were the best. Yeah. And we were talking about how um, David Dobrik launched his Tesla. That's oh. crazy. I know. I'm not, I don't even know where that ramp is. 
Shit, I'm about to go do my hair. They go about to do the M4? M4. Damn, bro, what does a regular day look like for you? To be honest, right now, uh, I, I'm not doing much right now because, um, well, I'm like in a moment right now in life where I'm just trying to like, trying to set up things. Like yesterday, I, I just went to go eat with my homie, uh, went to go have sushi. But while we were having sushi, I was brainstorming on what I wanted my album cover to be, you mm-hmm. know, and about a name for the album cover and stuff like that. And then after, um, we went to the Dodgers game yesterday, Dodgers game, uh, we ate. And then we went to Bossa Nova in downtown, I think. It was in downtown. And it was a wrap. You sure it was a wrap? Nah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, you you went straight, we straight after? Like, we, stayed in, we stayed in the restaurant for so long talking. Like, we were just there chilling. And it was already like one. We're like, shit, let's just let's, let's take off already. It's already late. <laughs> I saw on, the, on TikTok that you previewed a song with Edgardo Nunez. What does this oh, color yeah. collaboration like mean to you? It, honestly, it's, it's crazy because... Cause I didn't think I would do a song with with um, a person from like de un género diferente, porque I think Edgardo tiene un un un, un género diferente, a little bit more. Um, ¿Qué viene siendo el género de Edgardo? Como like a little bit more estilo, traditional. Como estilo norteñón, ajá, norteñón. And well, I, I like that type of music, but I wouldn't do that type of music, right? Yeah. And it was kind of like an experiment, but I had a song that I had wrote. And had I liked that song, and he was gonna, he wanted to record it with, with, um, with uh, Grupo Frontera, but I think well something happened and they didn't record it, and well, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna record it. So I showed it to Edgardo, and Edgardo liked it, and we were we just planned it. We were like, let's let's take off to AZ. We're recording AZ, so we recorded in AZ, and then the whole plan was to make it like el estilo de Grupo Frontera, right? So como que viene siendo el estilo de Grupo Frontera norteño, so. Le, le metimos ese flow, something like very like, uh, uh-huh, to yeah. dance, yeah, you know, so it's, it's kind of that vibe, and it's cool because right now I feel like that music's popping right now, yeah, so with the congas or what are they called? Uh, like oh, the, yeah, the, the ones you hear, right? Si, andale, andale, cumbia tejano or something like that, yeah, damn that, bro, we're, we're super excited yeah. to hear that. that. And is it easy for you to write songs? Yeah, what's the creative Cause we process had a, of it? Look. Yeah, because we had a Javi the other day, and I asked him, like, you know, I guess he was, like, freestyling or whatever. And I asked him hey, if it was just... Freestyle. <laughs> <laughs> and I asked him if it was, like, are you born with it, or is it um, practice? What is that like for you? Shit, I'm not that good at writing. Like, I'm not that good at writing English or Spanish. Like, I- I'll fuck up. Not that I'll fuck up writing words. Um, pero para escribir música, <laughs> I'm good at that shit, you know? <laughs> so it's different. I don't know. I feel like it's tiene que dar. I feel like si es como un don. It's like you know, it, it comes with you type shit. Cause Hera told me it was like 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 Hera told me like, oh shit, you, you, that song is actually pretty good. Like you, you have a don, you could write music. It's not that easy, you know, to be creative, and um and be able to like make a melody and then actually make a cool song que queden bien con los acordes, que terminen bien los fraseos en las can- en las partes de las canciones, and how to construct it too. You know, you can't just Start singing crazy. It has, it has, it's like a whole structure, you know, to a song. So it's pretty cool. So you have a own and then you like work upon that. Yeah. Just keep building that skill, huh? Because yeah. at the end of the day, you could practice that skill. You, yeah, you practice it because I feel like I, I get better every time I write a song. I feel yeah. like, oh shit, like I did this and it was kind of cool and I had never done it. So I'm getting better, you know? And I, th- I think also too that, um, like the letra from like, Musica back then was different to like what it is now. Oh yeah, very different. I feel like it's super different right now. I feel like pues, escucho canciones de like not not hating or anything. I, I think it's cool. I think it's cool how they're changing it up, you know, because um, it's better. It's better when mm-hmm. things change because things can't stay the same forever. Yeah. So I feel like a veces hacen ahorita los fraseos de palabras different, como unas palabras en español las hacen fraseos diferentes that don't sound right. But they do sound good, you know? Oh, kind of like the Junior H songs. Uh, I think he says, ah, um, oh, fuck, what is it? What song? Like, he adds, like, oh, I mean, I don't know if this is actual, actually a Spanish word, but, like, oh, fuck, what's that word? I'm so stupid. I think there's there's some there's some words that as Labon used that are not Spanish, but they're understood in, you know, our yeah, language, the Spanglish. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Some words, like, co- como se frasea una palabra, pues, como de que, ah, estando... Estando contigo, yeah, and, and and sometimes while they're playing, they're playing it. They just 
they phrase it a little bit different mm -hmm. and it sounds kind of goofy but it sounds cool and it, it attracts the ear you know because yeah. it's something new and i i like it like i like all that shit because it's something new to the year you know yeah writing has evolved a lot and recently writing the instruments the sound everything yeah i think just everything got like really switched up and from all these like rules that were in the handed like everything's just like the way they dress too oh yeah no more suits no more yeah, everyone new is, wave is yeah. a new wave it's crazy but i like it because th things change and 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 i feel like when things change that means that you know algo está pasando i feel like something's good's happening you know because if things stay the same, it's like, oh, you know, you get bored after a while, you know? Um, and I feel like it happened, I think it happened with music, Machine. Since Nata came in, I feel like Nata made a big difference in music. You think he's the one that really, like, I feel like him? he's 100% the one that changed. I think him and Obi, Loki. Him and Obi? Uh, yeah, him and Obi. Nah, that's crazy. That's the so, first time I, I hear yeah, someone. Him and Obi were, like, I feel like the, the ones that kind of yeah. started shit. There's a little I, stain right there, Diego. Huh? It's a little stain right there. Where? In your pants. Uh, <laughs> I was a big Nata fan. Yeah, I'm a big Nata fan. Yeah. I, I think not only did the music change. Oh, yeah, but when we were going to meet him, you took your fucking poster and you think it's okay. No. Yeah? <laughs> you, know. you had your shorts. You're like, I'm going to frame it. <laughs> what do you say? Um, not only has music changed, but the way business is done is different now, too. I think a lot of the American record labels are having eyes on Musica Mexicana, for example. like You know, like the bigger companies like warner Inters interscope universal which is um what is the other one sony so like those are big big corporations looking at you know something that started off really small like in mexico yeah, yeah i think eventually modernized eventually like echo uh, predicted two three years ago oh yeah that was podcast crazy. that uh mm -hmm. like musica mexicana is gonna like really grow and it's gonna could be like number one and then also yeah. i was watching a, a video saying that uh that rap has decreased um, in popularity over the last three years by like two, three percent. And then, you know, what well, Musica Mexicana is booming. So I think like it could be number one. Oh, yeah. And I would tell that to people like our guests that will have. And I'd be like, you're dumb. And then Diffo will start bashing on me. And then now it's like, you know, <laughs> yeah, Musica happen. Mexicana is number one. <laughs> uh, the top 100 is on Musica Mexicana. All right, bro. I have some fan questions here for you. Crazy fan crazy, questions. Pretty wild. Crazy bro. ass questions, man. You ready, bro? You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Anita underscore Nav says, does he have a girlfriend? No. Are you looking for a girlfriend? Nah, I'm good right now. I'm good. I feel like I'm good single because I focus more on myself. Focus more? Yeah. Kathy said, did you ever have a thing with Anai? Mm, nothing more than like maybe just liking each other, but did it go far from there? Like past there? I, didn't, I feel like we, we have like the connection, you know, to like each other, so... That's it. That's pretty much it. Juan Maldonado said. I got mocos. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> what has been your favorite collaboration so far and why? Uh, shit. What has been my favorite co collaboration? Uh, I think it was cool doing the, the Fuerza Regida. The Fuerza Regida thing on the boat. Oh, that was sick. Yeah, yeah, I think it was cool because I was like, I was like, you know, that was a pretty hard song. And I came out in the video with the Yono Pesco thing. Okay. And it's kind of crazy because I used Yono Pesco hats since as soon as I started blowing up, that's the only hat I will use. Yono mm -hmm. Pesco, Yono Pesco, Yono Pesco. So for him to mention in the song, like, Una gorrita del, del We pescado. also saw like in the video, you guys are like cousins or something? Yeah, nah, but we're just, <laughs> we're, just, we're just messing around. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, we're just messing around. Yeah. We have the last name, you know, like we have the exact last name, so it's kind of crazy. But it's just like a little messing around thing. <laughs> when just building up on that question, if you could for sure get one artist on your next album, who would it be? Uh, I think I would love to do a song with Nata. Low Nata. Q. Yeah. The King of Rustom House. Nata Junior at your Peso Pluma. I, I feel like it will be super like... One of those? Yeah. Because it's kind of the flow that I'm going way, you know, like, mm -hmm. el estilito así, very calm type music. I feel like it suits their voice, too. Lua's okay. film said, what happened to your tooth, cuz? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was, well, I was born like that. It never grew. It never grew. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, he never grew either. <laughs> <laughs> but your neck oh, did. Oh, your neck did. <laughs> all right. One, all right. one. one. <laughs> oh, got you. One word. You gotta go oh, back. Man. You gotta get him back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just go. never grew. Never grew. Damn. I was born a little bit deformed. Jason underscore Nunez said, tits, ass, or personality? 
Jason, really? Damn, yeah. Damn, Damn bro. That's, that's crazy. crazy. That's come right here. You're fucking wild, bro. <laughs> that's come right here. <laughs> I don't have Instagram. That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> well, just like I said in the beginning, I feel like everybody, even girls to guys and guys to girls, when you see someone, you look at their body first, right? You look at their face you from far distance. You're like, oh shit, okay, that person's cute. She, she has a cute body, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna say hi. She, I'm gonna say hi, you know? Well, you can't see the person. So I think <laughs> everything. I feel like everything, everything. I like everything, you know? Yeah, I appreciate the honesty there. That's yeah. how it is. You, <laughs> but, but, personality. Oh, you, Kiko? Personality. <laughs> personality. So how do you see personality? <laughs> yeah, yes. How do you see your personality, Kiko? Huh? How do you see personality? How do you see the personality? You want a drink? No, thank you. I could buy my own. Bam. Oh, uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's what they dodged you, Kiko? Shit, but, but how, do you <laughs> them? how do you approach them, though? Just at the bar by myself. Or why do you, why you just approach a random girl? You didn't no, why do you choose? <laughs> <laughs> he closes his eyes. To, he goes yeah. like that. Yo. <laughs> it's like any mini money like, moment. It's like, a guy. You got a nice personality? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. They're going to say, thank you. Fatima said, what's your body count? Shit. Crazy. I mean, it's not crazy. I don't think it's crazy. I think it's very normal. I don't know. Probably less than 15. Less than, yeah. Valid. Crazy. Valid. 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 You can go. Valid. Six. Six. Yo. What about you guys? Hey, you guys hey, got to hey, say hey, it too. Come on. Come on, huh? Love Benito. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that's the next one. No, no. Quanto. Next question. Yeah, that's actually a good question. Angel, body count. Body count. Everybody. Four. Hundred. <laughs> In this oh, week, four? dude. Ever since this one moved, nah. nah, nah. <laughs> oh God. Would you hey, ever? Yo, 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 hold on. Oh no, hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, everybody, everybody. But it was two week, one week. Sheesh. It's week. We, we gotta be honest, honest. Raw or cut nine. <laughs> the same as Oscar. Hey, yeah. Would you ever date a fan? Uh, I mean, you can fall in love with anyone. I feel like it wouldn't be bad to fall in love with a fan. As long as you just shit, but it's kind of different because because you don't know if they're using you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's hard. Maybe, 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 maybe not. You know? Do you think it's harder finding a relationship? Yeah, like being I think famous. It is. Yeah, being famous and normal. I think it is. 100%. Yeah. Huh. Um, Eric forty three said, "Fumas mota." Nah, never. Cause, but like, it's like it's like because I have one kidney, so so no no puedo hacerlo. Oh, yeah. Also, but drinking, yes. But it's like bad, you know? Cause yeah, I mean, it's, it's drinking bad. goes it's straight to the kidneys because I have to filter everything out, right? Do you think you're more careful with all that stuff considering you only have one kidney? Oh, I haven't been taking care of myself and I have to be honest, bro. Like, <laughs> shit. I've gone to some concerts and I've gotten fucked Lit. up, bro. I got him fucked <laughs> up, bro. But shit. <laughs> it's the best sometimes, part. sometimes it feels really cool being drunk in a concert that you really wanted to go to, mm-hmm. right? It's a vibe. So being in a Peso Pluma concert, tipsy. Fuck. Yeah. Like, ah. Damn. 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 Suck up in the air and shit. They're taking off. Elevating it. Like, once they play last one, Icon. Dude, oh my god. I, I think so we were, we've all been at drunk at those. those. Best of Bloom content. And then sometimes, like, when you know, you're on the side of the stage or whatever, everybody's just like, and then it's us like, ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like crazy. Bro. It feels like, different, honestly. For sure, for sure. Everything's different when you're drunk. Yeah, and you think. You know, just we're respectfully asking, you know, with like the one kidney, you think aside from trying to take care of yourself, you think it's had like other like limitations? I've never drank Coke. <laughs> like Coke, Coke, I've never really? drank Coke. Really? Oh, because you have to be careful with all that stuff. Yeah, because like, I the think water. the doctor told me that it was really bad for me. But I mean, shit, I'm drinking alcohol. <laughs> yeah, I want to see all like Coke or alcohol. I'm pretty sure alcohol is worse than Coca-Cola. But I don't know. I think Coca-Cola had something really bad that's bad for your kidney. You never like, like tried like a little bit or anything? Yeah. Oh, I think one, it's I think one time I was choking when I was little my mom gave me cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Shit, I had to drink something. Oh, I think it's sodium finite. <laughs> oh, like, what the <laughs> fuck is that? Fuck is that? That's why his body count too. Bro. Nah. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I had to get him back from uh, what? from when you got him back. Remember, you're like, oh, you never been the same since. And you said name and everything. Right. Oh, yeah. Well, we bleeped that out. Right. But yeah. Are you down to play some songs Why? Why? to play the guitar? Up. Down, I'm down. Yeah. Yeah. Oscar Pablo. is going to show us some songs. That, Super exclusive. That haven't came out yet. Yeah, that haven't. That are coming in the album, though. is going to be on the album. What's up, guys? We're back. Oscar nos va a dar la primicia de unas canciones que va a salir en su álbum. Let's get it. Okay, please. Esta canción se llama Kiss, and I actually did this call. I mean, again? What, bro? What? <laughs> Damn. 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 You got nervous because Jason's close. Oh, uh, God. All right. Wait, no. 
<risa> ok, esta canción la hice en una llamada con fans en Insta y le puse Kiss. Wow, I'm not sure if it's gonna be finished. Like, it's gonna stay as Kiss or a different name, but I kind of like how it's now called Kiss, you know? Something different. <coughs> Qué difícil olvidar, más difícil conectar con alguien más. Hay palabras para decir. Qué bonito los recuerdos que viví. Dime, ¿qué pasó? Lo que tuvimos, el orgullo lo acabó ¿Qué fue? De tu mamá ya ni el cumpleaños alcancé Si te gustó Qué bien recuerdo los pantis bien mojados ¿Quién fui yo? Darte todo simplemente fue mi error oh, 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 oh. Y solo tú supiste lo que hiciste con mi corazón No fue mi culpa, bien sabemos que la cagamos los dos Parece ser que fue un momento Me perdí en el amor, lo acepté a veces pasa el tiempo, ya no avanza Tienes que empezar desde el comienzo A ver, a ver, a ver, dime otra vez ¿Qué pasó? Lo que tuvimos, el orgullo lo acabó ¿Qué fue? Mamá, ya ni el cumpleaños alcancé Si te gustó Qué bien recuerdo los pantis bien mojados ¿Quién fui yo? El arte todo simplemente fue mi error It's hot. It's hot in here. It's hot in here. Yeah, bro, that's a sick song. Thank you, thank you, bro. Kiss. Se llama Kiss. Tiene algo different. Obviously, I don't know how to play the guitar that good, so no sale tan bien. But pero los acordes tienen. They have like a little different, a little different feel to it. Que with my friend, the one that plays the guitar, he does like this cool like, bound, bound, bound. Bang, bang. It sounds so cool while singing. It sounds sick. Pero yo digo que hay que cantar una y que me ayude mi pa. ¿Sí o no? ¿Sí? ¿You can do it, Jason? Hell yeah. You got it? nervous? Yeah, I got it. They show me the recording. <laughs> 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 oh, like with the like, guitar, huh? Oh, my God, bro. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was like, hey, uh, help me out. He's like, I bet, dude. He made us, he made us look bad that oh, day. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, okay. Uh, should I uh, let me do this one? Let me do this one real quick. One yeah, I'm gonna do one more. Que pasa? Okay, this is una canción. Damn, that's un cortable. I like, I like when it was like, dime. <laughs> oh, it just stops and it says, dime. Boom. Yeah. Que pasa? Damn, I just wanna, I wanna construct it in the studio. Already. It's gonna sound crazy. Awesome. Um. <laughs> Esta se llama Que bonito amor. So. It's, it's about love, you know? I sang the sad one, now the amor. Bonita tú, te ves bien cute, me alegra ver Que si eres tú, me hace feliz verte reír Tú te ves bien que me alegra ver Que si eres tú me hace feliz verte reír Mi 
mirarte tomar tu mano irnos de aquí amarte donde no sepan de ti de mí llevarte a las estrellas Contemplar la luna llena Mirar atardecer en los dos siempre juntos Un amor sin fin Qué bonito amor Qué bonito amor El que mutuamente compartimos Estando solo los dos Qué bonito amor Qué bonito amor de quererte que yo te prometo amarte hasta el fin del mundo Like Kevin Carl at Maverick. Like yeah, some people, Luna, some people like, have told me very chill, right? Yeah, yeah. Very. yeah super sad. Got me all sad right now. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even going through it, you know? <laughs> Just like, Shit. <laughs> should, I think we should play the Los Hombres También Lloran then. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, huh? El HTL. Alright, what are you going to say, Crazy. Bob? On this side. Of, I think right here would be cool, too. Right here? Yes, it over there, too. What's your wedding song? Yeah. Like that, and I'm going to jump in right there. Do it. Esa que no me quiso iba. Volver. That's hard. Let's do it like that. Right. Yeah. Casi se cayó con la segunda. I got two into. I'm gonna move the mic away. Es no qué con segunda. Qué rollo pues es esta canción se llama LHTL que viene siendo los hombres también lloran. Cause you know we also cry, bro. We all cry. All cry, bro. Que no hicieron llorar. Goofy. Yo nunca lloro. Right now he's like. Right now he's like. La leche. <laughs> leche con flays. <laughs> <laughs> ok, pues esto se llama LHTL, los hombres también lloran. Va un poco así. Esa que no me quiso iba a querer volver. Discúlpame, mi niña, pero no se va a poder. Si me dejas decir fue porque no tenía con qué. Hoy no me vengas a rogar porque ya te olvidé. La neta ni te topo y dices que eres mi ex. Ya lo pasado, pasado y que así se quede. Ahora tranquilo, sin ti ando bien feliz también. Me navego en un carro deportivo, algo bien. Y no me vengas a buscar porque yo pa' ti no estoy. Cuando me tenías conmigo me negabas de tu amor. Ahora con varios culitos me la paso en un table. Metiéndome la bada hay varias cosas para el cerebro. Porque no puedo arrancar tu maldito recuerdo Esos polvos en el carro en la parte posterior Cuando me decías te amo y solo eran tus juegos Dije que te había olvidado pero bien sabes que no oh, Tú bien sabes que no Sabes que no oh, oh, oh. Ahí quedó LHTL, los hombres también lloran El Loki, I'm excited about that song that I'm song excited too, too. Oh, I like it a lot, bro I, I like really it a like lot, bro just, It hits, bro You don't have to have like Someone for it to hit, you know, like yeah. it really fits yeah. you, you know. I really like the letter. I feel like it's like super modern. Yeah, and, está and bonita really, la neta. La, a esa canción la hizo mi amigo, uno de mis amigos. Really? Yeah. I close my eyes. I just imagine a relationship. Si está en perra neta, I like yeah. that scene. Yeah. I want to do that song with um, I think guitarras and bajo. Tum, 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 tum. You know when it comes out, so I could uh, cry to it. And, uh, <laughs> 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 I'm gonna have someone break my heart apart. the day before it comes out. This one hits different. It already hits different, you know. But imagine, yeah. I was singing it for uh, right here, just like you know, in my own world. You know? <laughs> Is it your favorite song that you? Uh, from it's the album? it's one of my favorite ones. But like, there's like more that I like, Machine. More? Yeah. 
Yes. And this one, do you plan on having like a duet or just like yourself? I think I might just do it by myself. This one, maybe, yeah. That's awesome. A late, a late night drive. Listen to this. yeah. I feel like since it's very like like very strong, even the the name, mm -hmm. but like one person makes it more like like dense. Yeah, I don't know. it'll be like a bottom, you know. Yeah, about, about, like, about one person, shit, you know. I think a lot of people are gonna have this song on repeat, you know, like it's like the late night drive, just TikTok reminiscing. Oh my God, yeah, I've been bumping it too. Late night, yeah, late night drives. So sad. In a red, in a red convertible, driving down PCA. <laughs> Cold as fuck. <laughs> cold, as fuck. <laughs> cold as fuck. Be like it was cold with it's cold without you. <laughs> they just fucking up his vibe. Bro. Yeah, you fucked up his vibe, bro. <laughs> oh god, he was already imagining like man, a convertible, and convertible. Shit. enough frostbite. You're here fucking frostbite. <laughs> Stop by the cops and shit. I was talking about this fool because you know how he has the oh, yeah, red convertible. convertible. I have yeah, a great bro. one. Man, that's awesome. I don't even know what to say no more after that song. <laughs> that song, that song really actually hit. Like, like everybody in the in the comments, let us know if it hit. You know, have you showed this song on TikTok? Huh? Have you showed this song on TikTok? No, I actually haven't. Damn, I haven't blown up. I've only shown, but like just little parts of songs. I really haven't like, and it's me playing the guitar, and I suck at playing the guitar, bro. <laughs> so it's, it kind of sounds nasty, you know. If someone plays a guitar and I sing it, it's, it's like more like, oh shit, looks looks and sounds better. No, it's it's not good. I think yeah. it's something nasty when he plays. The first <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> no, Oscar was like focusing on just the singing. So the I other one that I that I sang in the beginning, I think I kind of fucked up a, a bit on a few things. Yeah. Is there a, a date for the for the album? The whole album? Not yet. Not yet. And you said uh that you were yesterday you were brainstorming on the name and the album. Yeah. The cover. Were you able the to? The album cover. I just. I wanted to be something very out of this world, so I kind of went to space type shit. So I want to kind of do like a very spacious album. Like, let's say the background is like space, purple, pink, bluish, dark purple, black, stars and everything. And then on the top corner is going to be an asteroid hitting me, but I'm holding a book and it's going to, towards Earth, the asteroid. You're holding a book? Yeah. And then for like the name, like what have you thought of so far? And then and then I thought about since I don't know, I just I thought it was kind of cool, like the asteroid, and me holding a book going to Earth, and I just thought about and in la realidad. Yeah, let's see. And you're gonna be sitting on top of the asteroid. No, it's gonna be <laughs> hitting me. <laughs> so it's gonna be hitting me. I'm gonna be holding a book, and I'm I'm gonna be like like this, like oh shit, like it's pushing me towards ah, Earth. Ah, oh, that's hard. And it's it's the name. Well, I'm not sure, but the name I wanted to. In la realidad. In la realidad. In reality, yes. Sick, bro. Well, but bro, uh, we appreciate you know your time for coming. No, oh, thank you for the invite. Switching on, it was fun. Oh, uh, it was really fun. It was cool actually, like having to you know sit down and talk with you because we just see each other at concerts. Just yeah, I know. I know. Just what's up and shit. Yeah. Yeah. But um, you know, we really appreciate. You. Where could people find your music? You know, on Spotify, Instagram, TikTok. Um, uh, all platforms, all platforms, uh, and um, social media. Well, Oscar Ortiz official on TikTok is. Oscar Ortiz 1.0, I think. I think, yeah, I think, I think 1.0. 1.0, yeah. yeah. And just my music and all platforms. My EP just released not too long ago. So 237, out already. Out now. Out. Go stream and it. The album going to go crazy. Guys. I just. Yeah. I just album's going to go crazy. Album's going to go crazy. How, how many songs? I'm not going to. Shit, I have like 20 right now. I need to choose, bro. I can't do that many. Probably do like 14. An album and an EP? Maybe. But here's the thing, though. I have like a surprise, like something cool, bro. Like something like. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, okay. something like that for the club, yeah, for the, the razors, yeah. for the razors. You know, yeah, yeah. I, have, I have a little cool surprise. Yeah, like house. Yes. That's sick. All right, That's guys. Sick. Thank you for watching till so the much. end. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow Oscar, and wait for that album. Listen to the just wait on right that now. song, guys. Wait on Jeez, bro. <laughs> it was crazy. Time yeah. to look for somebody to break your heart. But yeah. Yeah, it's different. Over here standing like the official guitar player of the project. <laughs> 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 My boy, huh? That's cool. <laughs> We got something coming. <laughs> se pegó, se pegó bien <laughs> but yeah, thanks so much. We really appreciate you coming oh, by. And you know, coming you back. Know, it was coming. It was like coming by. Oh. Oh. It was an honor. It was an honor. Oh. Thank you guys for having me. Right, thank you. Peace out, See guys. You guys. Bye. <laughs>